Welcome student. Today let's see what are angles and how to classify them. Let's first of all look at the meaning of term angle. Angle is basically a figure which is formed by two rays sharing some common end point. Let's understand the meaning of angle with the help of this example. Look at the mouth of the crocodile. Over here this represents one of the ray of the angle, while this represents the second ray of the angle. And these two rays are meeting at some common end point. Now this common end point is called vortex. So we can say that this is simply the angle formed. Now after this let's learn about different types of angles. There are many angles but let's learn about four different and important types of angles. First is acute angle. Next is obtuse angle. Then we have right angle. And then we have straight angle. So let's learn about each of these angles one by one. Now let's first of all look at the definition of right angle. Over here in this figure we can see that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Or you can see that they are standing on each other. So we can say that they are making an angle of 90 degree, which is called right angle. So we can say that one quarter of full circle is called right angle. Now we know that full circle has 360 degree, so that means one quarter of full circle will be 90 degree. So we can say that right angle has a measure equals to 90 degree. Let's look at the example of a right angle. Suppose there is a building standing on a ground. Now this building makes an angle of 90 degree with the ground. So we can say that these are the right angles. After this, let's learn about acute angle. An acute angle is an angle which is smaller than right angle. And it has a measure which is smaller than 90 degree. Let's look at an example of an acute angle. Look at this scissor. The opening of this scissor is making an acute angle. Similarly, let's see what is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is basically an angle which is greater than right angle. Or we can say that they have measure greater than 90 degree. Let's see an example of an obtuse angle. Over here in this figure, we can see that this is an obtuse angle because it is appearing to be greater than 90 degree. Now after this let's combine two right angle triangles and then study about straight angles. So straight angle is simply a straight line and it has always measure equals to 180 degree. Let's see an example for this. This is a straight line and it makes an angle of 180 degree. So we can say that it is a straight angle. Similarly, let's look at this clock which shows the time of 6 o'clock. So the hour hand and the minute hand 
makes an angle of 180 degree because it appears to be a straight line. Now after learning about different types of angles let's try these questions. It says classify the angle made by the clock as right, acute, obtuse or straight. Look at the clock. It shows the time of 4.15. Look at the hour hand and the minute hand. It appears to have measure less than 90 degree. So that means we can say that this angle is simply an acute angle. Now similarly let's look at this question. Again we need to classify the given angle as right, acute, obtuse or straight. Now this is a picture of a house. And we need to tell which type of angle is this. We can see that these two sides are standing on each other. So it appears to make a 90 degree angle. And we are also aware that right angle has a measure equals to 90 degree. So that means this is simply a right angle. Now let's look at one more question like that. Again we need to classify the given angle A as right, acute, obtuse or straight. This is a figure of a measuring funnel and we need to identify this angle A. Simply when we give a look at this angle we find that this is not a straight angle because it is not making a straight line. Neither it is a right angle because it is not making a measure equals to 90 degree and it appears to be more than 90 degree. So that means simply this is an obtuse angle. Now look at this question. Here you need to analyze the given figure and mark or name any two acute angles in this. Simply when you give a look at this figure we find that angle DEF is an acute angle because it appears to have measure less than 90 degree. Similarly angle DCB appears to be an acute angle because it has measure less than 90 degree. So we can say that two acute angles are simply angle DEF and angle DCB. Now look at this question. Here we need to classify the given angle made by a compass as acute, obtuse, right or straight. Look at the opening of the compass and we need to find the angle made by this. Now when we look at the angle we find that neither it is a straight angle nor it is a right angle. It appears to have measure less than 90 degree. So that means it is simply an acute angle. Now with this we come to the end of this topic. I hope you have understood about different types of angles. Goodbye and see you in the next session.